Hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Monday study of the book of Galatians. I look forward to getting your inputs and your thoughts. So the question I'm going to put at the beginning this time, which is, why do people have a wrong understanding of the Bible? And secondly, why do people get involved in sin? And the answer to those questions we'll see today. Uh, and we could summarize it by saying we simply look away from the cross. So Galatians 3, 1 to 5, Paul says, You foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Or who has mesmerized you? Who has hypnotized you? Before your very eyes, Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed as crucified. The word clearly portrayed means like a billboard, like Paul with his verbal description and in his writings would paint the picture of the cross. And now he says to the Galatians, who has bewitched you? I showed you the cross. I painted the picture. I verbally and in, and in writing displayed the cross before your very eyes. Paul saying you looked at it, you you saw it clearly in every detail, and that's how you began as a Christian, hearing the good news and believing it. But you looked away because somebody held up maybe a hip, I call it a hypnotic pendulum, right, <laughs> and swung it in front of your eyes, and you got mesmerized and bewitched by the teaching. And why is that? Because you looked away from the cross. The Galatians were being taught that, yes, the gospel's fine for salvation. But if you want to go on to perfection, then you need to embrace the law of God. You need the gospel plus your own obedience. They were in error. The Galatians were in error. And they were sinning. And the same thing happens to us. When we forget our Savior's cross, it's the first step in our backsliding. Now, had these Galatians fixed their eyes on the cross, this false teaching would have bounced right off of them. And so, if you read Galatians 3, 1 to 5, it gives us three solutions for our own sin problem. Three solutions for sin, for our sin problem. Let's look at them. The first one is remember the cross. Paul says, what happened to you? Who bewitched you? I clearly displayed before your eyes the cross. He's getting them to remember. Remember the cross. And by remember, he means Look back at it. You looked away, now look back at the cross. See your king wearing a crown of thorns to remove the curse of sin from you. See his arms and, and feet, his hands and feet, nailed to the tree for your freedom. See him breathing out his last breath to breathe new life into you. See every detail of it. See him pierced in his side. And out comes blood and water to forgive you and to cleanse you. See that. Look there. But don't just see his physical suffering. See him carrying your sin and weighing him down. See the father pouring out his wrath on his son in your place. See him becoming your scapegoat who took your sin and carried it away from you. See yourself forgiven, redeemed. In him you have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Remember, remember the cross. Wash at it and do this daily. And you won't believe doctrinal error. And you will be free from sinful bondage. Not free from sin yet, but free from bondage. First thing, 
Remember the cross. Second thing, remember how you got the Holy Spirit. Verse 2, did you receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by believing what you heard? When you heard the good news and you believed it was for you, you got the Holy Spirit. Remember, that's how you get the Holy Spirit, is by looking at the cross, by hearing the good news and by believing it. You got the Holy Spirit the first time you believed. You receive more and more of the Spirit's work every time you hear again the message that Jesus loved you, that he gave himself for you to rescue you. Remember where you got the Holy Spirit. You got him at the cross. The third thing is, remember where all the supernatural power is. It's at the cross. Verse 5 says, Does God give you his spirit and work miracles among you by the works of the law or by believing what you heard? You see that man over there that was in bondage to alcohol? A miracle happened. He came to the cross. He received forgiveness. He was changed on the inside. It's a miracle. Do you see that woman over there in bondage to food, bowing down to the idol of gratifying her flesh with food? She came to the cross. She received a new heart. She got the Holy Spirit. She was washed and cleansed and set free. It's a miracle. You see that man over there and his wife, and they're on the verge of divorce? They both came to the cross. They kneeled in front of it, and they received forgiveness of their sins, and they forgave each other, and they were raised from the dead. It's a miracle. Remember where miracles happen at the cross. So what are the three things? Remember the cross. Look at it. Remember where you got the Holy Spirit at the cross. Remember the miracles happen at the cross. Question for this week to consider. I know I asked some in the beginning. How does believing the message of the cross keep you free from error? Think about that. Let's talk about it this week.